Hey everybody, it's Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another video in our cPanel tutorial series. Okay guys, in this video we're going to demonstrate how to export a database using the PHP MyAdmin tool in the cPanel. Now exporting an entire database is pretty common when you're moving a site from one server to another or making a backup or if you want to use the copy of your database for a test site. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log into the cPanel like I've done here. Next, we're gonna find the database section. So just scroll down until you see it. And then you wanna click on the PHP My Admin icon. And this will open up the tool. Once you're in the tool, we'll look over to the left-hand sidebar. Now, right at the top here, you're gonna see one of two things. If you have one database, you'll see that whole database name. If you have more than one database, you're gonna see your cPanel username, like I have here. If I click that, I see my list of databases. In this case, I have two. So find the one you want to work on and give it a click. In this case, we're going to work with this WordPress database here. Now you can see on the right-hand panel a list of all the tables in the database. Pay attention up here at the top, and you can see that I'm working in the database itself, the whole database. If I click on one of the tables, additional information is added, and I'm working in a table. If I try to export from here, it's just going to use a table. In this case, we want the whole database, so make sure you don't see anything more to the right here than just the database name. Go ahead and click the Export tab. Okay, it looks pretty easy, and for the most of the time, it's going to be easy. Just use the quick selection here. 99% of the time, this is what I use, and it works fine. You can use the custom if you like. If you have a need to, you'll know it, and you can change all this information and uh, different settings and stuff for your export there. But the vast majority of the time, just go ahead and use the quick. It's going to give you the whole database. Uh, it's great for backups. It's great for moving, and it's great for making a copy for using on a test site. The format, just go ahead and leave it as SQL or SQL, and click the Go button. Now, once you click the Go button, it's going to make the file, and then download it to your local machine. So wherever your downloads go, that's where it's going to be. Thanks for joining us for our cPanel tutorial series. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any comments or questions you have in the comment section below so we can bring you future videos. Thanks and see you next time. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.